Well, there's probably no better week to celebrate the Cranker Crab than this week, and the reason being that uh, Cranker's gone to America to show their lures off to the rest of the world. They're at iCast, and um, I just can't get enough of these things at the moment, so I'd like to show you how I use them around bridges. Usually, I'll stay well back from the bridge, and the tide's running this way at the moment, so it's running away from me, which is actually ideal for mine with a uh, cranker. You want to cast it in against these pylons and just let it sink down. And with the tide running away from you, it just slows their sink a little bit, which is really enticing to brim. And you'll just watch your line on the way down. So that's the money cast, those ones in against those end pylons. And then if you game, and makes you nervous as hell when you can see the pylons have got these oyster or barnacle encrusted edges to them. The next cast I'll go for is down along the edge. You just gotta be onto it. Because if you get hit on the way down, you've got to get the lure out as quick as you can and keep it away from those edges. So it's a little bit of nervous fishing with a $20 cranker on. The way that I'll fish it is just let it drift right down, get right to the bottom and just sit it there. So not even moving it for a little while. The tide will get the action of the arms going and those little claws and that's all you really need. Next cast that I'll go for after I've had a few goes is probably along this rocky bank here. So getting it right up along the edge. And again, you wanna stay out, not too much boat movement and motoring around, just so you're not spooking the brim. But just along the edge there and just a really, really slow drawback, just so it's bouncing along those rocks and hopping along the rocks and it'll work its way without too much action from your rod tip. So you can just drag it across the top. It'll send those claws crazy. Once I've fished like that, I'll head into the middle of the bridge and I'll show you what I'd like to do there. You wanna try and keep away from these. Try and focus on if there's shadow lines under the bridge, around pylons and that sort of thing, you wanna focus on them. The other thing to do is to um, just use your sunny so you'll be able to see brim down there feeding along the pylons so you can just work it like that just drop it down and a lot of the time you'll even get to see the brim come out and smash it so it's a lot of fun you just got to be quick on the draw to get them away from the pylon so you don't get snapped now if you call that the money cast at those end pylons where there's those big undercut edges around the bottom of the pylon I'd say that these ones in between the pylons, so those ones where you're casting in between, they're probably the too much money cast because you can lose a fair few lures if you're not quick enough or don't have strong enough line to drag the brim straight through because he'll just wrap you straight around the pylon. They're not as bad as jacks because jacks know exactly what they're doing. Sometimes you'll get lucky and be able to bring the brim through. You can catch a lot of fish doing that. Once you've exhausted a, a bridge like this, the next thing to do would be to hit the periphery. So there's still brim feeding around the outside edges and along these rocky banks and that sort of thing. So I'll hit them as well. Basically, that's how I like to fish bridges with cranker crabs.